Oh, wonderful. So we are so happy to have two school board members here with us have just joined us. We got Karen Keys Gamara and we got uh, Ricardi Anderson, Dr. Ricardi Anderson. I know that I speak for the entire board and also for Ms. Keys Gamara when I say that making sure that we address this issue is paramount and making sure that we're addressing this issue now, not later, it's imperative. It cannot be business as usual. That's right. So let's go finish this job. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Karen Keys Gamara. Thank you so much. School board members, thank you so much for standing up for, for change. We will take the pulse of the board on uh, some of the common issues that have been raised throughout our comments, and then we will continue with the go backs. Kind of moving, changing gears a little bit, I want to share my support for the following. I want to be clear, everybody knows this. Uh, removal for the test. Uh, uh, oh my goodness, I didn't even get to my question. I will put myself on a go back. Um, we have a number of go backs and at this point i would like to take the pulse of the board on about three issues that have been um part of the conversation so far so please give me a second so i believe everybody pretty much was on a go back is that fairly accurate accurate probably, probably. Accurate. so i'm just going to ask everyone to please lower their hands so we can get to the consensus taking of some issues it looks like everybody's on for a go back so we'll just regroup um one of the first things that um, i believe oh i better take my number that i believe most of us commented on was regarding the assessment i would love for us to give some feedback to the superintendent in terms of some consensus or concurrence um, regarding the removal of that. Um, so I will propose that we take a, a quick poll. If we are in favor of removing the assessment that has been articulated to be a barrier, both in this presentation and the previous, I would like for hands to be raised to that. Madam Chair, may I just ask for clarification? Yes, ma'am. I, I, you're calling it an assessment, and I believe you're talking about the test. This is what we're talking about, the test. The test that we've been talking about that has been the barrier um, for many of our students. So I apologize. Just to further clarify, Ms. Keith Gamara, you're talking about the currently used test, the Quant Q test, correct? I just want to make sure we're clear on exactly correct. what test we're talking about. That is exactly yeah. right. It's about to remove the test for this year so that the public understands we're not making a long-term decision when there is a whole lot that we have still not discussed, including Mr. Shugart saying that this isn't just quant Q, which is what we mostly talked about. There's all these other things. So I'm just uncomfortable giving direction right now at this very moment when it's unclear, are we talking about forever and ever, or are we talking about for this admission cycle? Um, Ms. Corbett Sanders, would you like to speak to that? I know you've had conversations with folks regarding this. Yes, uh, thank you very much, Dr. Anderson. It is my understanding and speaking to everybody on the board that this is the elimination of the admissions test and the associated application fees that have traditionally been, originally they were the uh, Pearson administrated or administered test and now they're the Quant T and um, ACT that, that those barrier tests, those tests that have um, have indicated that they are um, they create barriers or cultural uh, biases in um, how they are uh, administered. So, Bachman, does that help? Well, it was my understanding that the Quant Q suggestion is to remove the. The, the standardized test and to put a problem set in its place. I feel like instead we're just only speaking to one piece and that's making me uncomfortable. That's the next piece on the, um, so if possible, um, I circulated some language earlier today and um, that might help bring it. So Ms. McLaughlin, we're going to go, I, I see you Ms. Um, yeah. Sizemore Heiser, yeah. just one Let's second. Move on, thank you. Thank you. Ms. Sizemore-Heiser? 
just point of clarification here. Are you just looking to try to get consensus on pieces we can agree to, or are we in this moment directing the superintendent? Because I'm a little confused. We're looking to get right. consensus because we want to be able to give him some sense of how to move on for Thursday when he brings the next part of this presentation. All right, thank you. Because right now we're giving a lot of feedback, so we're not necessarily looking to give a direction, but he needs to know where we are sitting as a board. Okay, thank you. Does that make sense? Okay. Okay, so we're going to go back to that first piece, the elimination of the assessment um, and its associated fees. If you are able to, to give concurrence to that, please raise your hand at this time. Dr. Anderson, I thought the associated fees is the application fee, not the test fee. Thank you, Ms. Uh, McLaughlin. I did get my two points um, confounded here. So folks, please lower your hands. We're gonna start this again. Removal of the assessment. Um, please raise your hand at this time. We have Ms. Gamara, Ms. Keys Gamara, Ms. Marin, Ms. Corbett Sanders, Ms. Cohen, Ms. Omesh, Mr. Frisch, Ms. Darna Koufax, Ms. Sizemore Heiser, Ms. Bakarski, Ms. Tolan, Ms. McLaughlin, and myself. So that is unanimous. Please lower your hands. Okay. 